way, I want to get to Foster Free. He's a big, uh, uh, one of those big donors in the Republican Party, very influential, got his fortune, a value investor, uh, found a lot of diamonds in the rough in stocks and with political candidates as well. Uh, Foster, what I had you here, Donald Trump has put out a statement his campaign has that hasn't really significantly improved the tone out of his campaign. Donald Trump withstood the onslaught of the establishment yet again, goes on to say lion Ted Cruz had the governor of Wisconsin, many conservative talk radio shows, and the entire party apparatus behind him. Not only was he propelled by the anti-Trump super PAC spending countless millions of dollars on false advertising, but he was coordinating with his own super PACs, which is illegal to totally control him. Ted Cruz is worse than a puppet. He's a Trojan horse. What do you make of that? <laughs> Well, I've known Ted Cruz for a long time. Uh, we backed him when he's running for attorney general, and he's one of the kindest, nicest guys. He, he got a lot of people upset when he uh, stood up with a lot of principal positions and a lot of his fellow uh, senators. I'm sorry, uh, I wasn't asking about him. I was asking about Trump and his reaction to his win. Well, okay, well, ask the question again, because I, I kind of missed that. Do you that. think Please, he sounded childish and petulant, Donald Trump? Well, I, I didn't hear his statement, and uh, I just but said that's, it. I just uh, said that, it. He sounds uh, nasty. Okay, he called right. him Ted Cruz again. Well, wh why is that any different? He's been doing that for two months. That's not news, no, uh, I'm just, Neil. I'm, I'm just ribbing kind of you, my friend. But to make the point, is he really changing the tone with a with a statement like that? Well, when you saw him uh, at one of the Wisconsin uh, town halls with uh, Melania, uh, they talked. She said he's got to become more presidential. And he said, "I'm going to do that." And if you saw the uh, that's speech not presidential. To the, this statement is not presidential, my friend. No, I, it's not. And I, I'm not a surrogate speaker for for you know. for Donald Trump. Uh, and I, my role, I hope uh, Neil can be conciliatory. So I've given to all the candidates because I. You look at You've our given team. To Trump? You get. I, I, I want to give to everybody because I'm in a position to try to, to bring Trump? people. Again. I have. I told. Oh. I said I gave to everybody. Now okay. he needs the money badly. I know. But if <laughs> I give to I, I give to Ted Cruz. I gave to Trump. I gave to Carly Fiorina to Perry. Like all the people that dropped out. Are you going to commit to thing. one candidate right now? No, I look. I think I'm in a unique position because of all the different people that I interact with. Someone, someone has got to try to bring these people back together because right now, if we don't get people cooperating, we're in, we're hurting. And I think we have to make a, a concerted effort to kiss and make up. You know, you saw Lindsey Graham came out for Cruz after saying that uh, he was <laughs> killed. If Cruz was killed on the floor of the Senate, no one would convict him. Yeah, there so was that. that's the kind of that's the kind of stuff we have to start and. You know, Mitt Romney, uh, if Trump winds up getting the nod, Mitt Romney's going to have to eat a little crow because he doesn't want to go down his history as a person who allowed Hillary Clinton to name three judges. And the, the right to protect our families, our lives, by right. being able to have a gun goes down the tube. So all these people have to be encouraged. And that's the role I want to play. I want to get our country to return to civility. And so, okay. Neil, tomorrow I want you to open the door for the person behind you. Every, everybody of your listeners, open the door for the person behind you. The civility, as you just heard. Just uh, slam it on the Is that not, not <laughs> Well, you, you heard what Sanders says. All these movements don't come from the top down. They come from the bottom up. So yeah. we're not going to have Don, Donald Trump and Ted Cruz lead us to civility. It has to come from the bottom. So if we want a more this civil isn't society. Civil. We're not, I'm looking at that. Is that a civil <laughs> statement? Yeah, that was. Uh, well, Foster, how are you? I was. Uh, uh, great. I, I saw Governor Perry uh, uh, Friday night uh, in Washington. He looks great, and I was just thinking as you're talking about all the people you've written checks to, would you be content to see everyone who's entered the, uh, the presidential primary for 2016, whether they dropped out early or late, would you entertain an idea in the convention if no one gets to 1237? That they could be introduced and nominated again for uh, for a vote. I, I, I think that would be a disaster because mm. all the Trump, all the people that Trump is bringing to the equation are bringing it because they're sick and tired of those kind of machinations. And I think either Trump or Cruz has to be the nominee. And if they try to bring in someone else, uh, we lose all, all right. the momentum that Donald Trump has brought to the equation. We ought to harness that, not diss exactly. it. We ought to we ought to embrace the, the the what he's done for our party. He's brought in a lot of 
of welders and plumbers, and Fair and uh, we got to we got to welcome that. Wait, wait, can I just ask? Don't you want to make a crack about Foster uh, getting aligned with Bernie Sanders like you did me? I agree with you 100 percent. Well, by the way, Foster, you are. In, 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 <laughs> but both you, Foster and Lou, would not slam the door on the person behind you. I'm very confident of that. Yeah. Um, thank you, Foster. Always good seeing you. Thank you for staying. Okay, late. and a bit and a bit and a big con uh, congratulations to uh, our friend Scott Walker for his back. Absolutely. I love that guy. Big, yeah, the, 